So basically, I've been in a situation ship for almost a year now. And um, it's very, it's been very off and on, so it's not like, it's not like it's been like a whole relationship type thing. Like it's literally just been off and on, and whatever. And now we go to the same college together, so that just added to the mix or whatever. He basically tells me that I can do whatever I want with anybody I want, but then he tells me like I can't do it with too many people. But then he also like gets irritated when I do do stuff with guys, and I'm like, like. Seven ways to deal with being in a situation ship. My guy, just don't be in one. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we have modern women being absolutely sick of the fact that men are denying them relationships. And we are going to be kicking it off with this woman right here who is shocked, okay? She is appalled that the situationship, yes, you heard that right, situationship that she has been in for a year does not actually want to have a relationship with her despite the fact that he has told her that he doesn't want a relationship with her. This is just absolutely amazing stuff. Let's just jump right into today's video. But guys, before we do, don't forget to subscribe to Lock the Bounty Hunter. I'm going to leave his channel linked in the pinned comment for providing us today's video clips to cringe at. So let's just jump in. Let's take a listen to what this woman has to say. Guys, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments as well. So basically, I've been in a situation ship for almost a year now. And um, it's very, it's been very off and on, so it's not like, it's not like it's been like a whole relationship type thing. Like it's literally just been off and on and whatever. And now we go to the same college together. So that just added to the mix or whatever. So let's dissect this, right? Before we continue with the video. We have been chasing a guy for a year. And whenever a woman says this, or whenever someone comes along and they say, well, I'm so sick of situationships, and why do men treat me this way? And they say like, oh, I've been in a situationship for X amount of time. Situationships are a magical thing, okay? It's basically just a guy's way of saying, hey, I don't really want to take you seriously, so I'm just going to have my fun, and that's going to be that. And women can choose to leave this at any point in time, by the way. Women who stay in situationships, it is absolutely their own fault. They have no self-respect and no wonder the dudes don't want to take you seriously. So she's been chasing this dude for a year uh, and she's, you know, a lot of these women, in fact, are very frustrated uh, and they're sick of the fact that dudes won't actually give them a relationship. So obviously we've been like hanging out and stuff down here as well. But, um, and it's very, obviously been very hard because we just like don't know what's up with us. We don't know what's going on. It's just very complicated because we basically act like we're dating in a way. Let me explain it to you. What's going on? See, she already knows what's going on here, but she's trying to pretend as though she doesn't for the camera. Here's the rundown. I'm going to, I'm going to spoil it for you guys. Okay. And I'm sure many of you watching this already know, uh, or just straight up understand this. A man does not want you. He does not want a relationship with you. He doesn't want to have anything serious with you. He's okay, you know, having his fun with you. But he understands that you are probably not relationship material for one reason or another. Um, or not wife material. Okay, and this is something that a lot of women, again, they, they struggle to square up with the fact that some dudes, you know, particularly the men with self-respect, it doesn't matter how good of a, you know, how good you look, or how fantastic the pictures you take of yourself are on Instagram. A lot of guys are not interested in dating with you if you prove to be someone who is inherently untrustworthy, unpleasant to be around, or you have a very extensive past, no self-respect, stuff like this, right? And I say this in every video, guys, but when men have boundaries and when men have standards, it's kind of a problem, right? Society shames us for it, but hey, it is what it is. Let's keep going with the video. We don't know what's going on. It's just very complicated because we basically act like we're dating in a way. But at the same time, we... 
which aren't together. Like, he doesn't want a relationship. He doesn't believe in relationships. He doesn't believe in love. He thinks I'm not made for relationships. He thinks I'm going to hurt him. Um, I think those are honestly all excuses. Like, I, I think he does think that way, yes, but I think he just is saying that because he really just doesn't want to be with me. He just doesn't know how to tell me. What do you mean he doesn't know how to tell you? He literally just said that he doesn't want to be with you, that he's not interested in a, in a relationship with you, and he's not interested in relationships in general. This woman just, it, it's amazing to me how this just flies over her head. All right, let's, let's wind that back and just truly understand the cognitive dissonance at play here. Made for relationships, he thinks I'm going to hurt him. Um, I think those are honestly all excuses. Like, I, I think he does think that way, yes, but I think he just is saying that because he really just doesn't want to be with me. He just doesn't know how to tell me. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on Locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. Ma'am, he has told you that he doesn't want to be with you. This is amazing, right? You can be a guy and you can sit down and explain exactly what you mean and what you think. And then some woman will just sit there and inter interpret it in her own way, right? As, like, it, it's, it's amazing, right? You can sit there and you can say, here is what I as a man want. And then in this woman's brain, she's gone, well... You know, I don't really think that that's exactly what it is, or I, I don't really, you know, I understand that's exactly what it is, but, you know, maybe he's just saying that. Like, <laughs> like, this is why a lot of men don't actually just sit down and tell you how they feel, or they don't sit down and have conversations with a lot of women, because it's just, apparently a lot of these girls just treat it as though it's up to interpretation, even if what we say is true or, or you know, it's what we mean. It's just somehow up to interpretation. That's amazing. He does think that way, yes, but I think he just is saying that because he really just doesn't want to be with me. He just doesn't know what to tell me. And so it's just been a hot mess because, like, when we're together, it, like, looks like it feels like we're together. Like, it genuinely feels so good, but, like, outside of that, obviously, like, we aren't together. He can go fuck with other bitches, like... And I can't, obviously, but I just choose to stay loyal because I really do like him. I really, really do like him. Like, I just, I don't want anybody else. Okay, so let's pause it right here. Off and on again, situationship for one year. And this woman, okay, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments. Do you think that this is a loyal woman? Okay, l l let me know in the comments, right? She says here that she is loyal to this guy that she's not in a re an, an actual relationship with for a year. What do you guys think down in the comments? We're just going to continue with the video, but that's what she says. She says that she's a loyal person. So, you know, let's wind it back and we'll continue. That obviously, like, we aren't together. He can go fuck with other bitches. Like, and I can't, obviously, but I just choose to stay loyal because I really do like him. I really, really do like him. Like, I just, I don't want anybody else. Right. So we really like him. We don't want anyone else. And she's loyal. Let's continue and find out if you guys were correct down in the comments. And I've never been so loyal to somebody. Like, obviously, I have been like, relationships. But, like, I've never been so loyal to, like, a, like a friends with benefits. Like, I've never been so loyal. And I'm at college, too. And I'm like, why am I so attached? So, it's like, it's a lot. There's been a lot of shit going on. It's just a mess. Um, and so, I've been, like, thinking a lot recently. Just, like, just about us. Because I'm like, what the I supposed to do like it's not fair to me like at all i know it's not fair to me because it's absolutely fair to you you know why because you can leave Th this guy has told you that he doesn't want a relationship with you that he doesn't believe in relationships that he's not interested in making you his girlfriend because he doesn't trust you and yet you're treating it as though it's somehow unfair to you this guy has been as far as I can tell, just 100% upfront and honest about the whole situation. 
and you're treating yourself as though you're the victim. If you want to stay and you want to continue to have fun with this guy, hey, that's on you. If you want to leave, you are more than welcome to do that. A man is not obligated to give you a relationship, right? This is, this is the amazing part about society where like, if a dude doesn't want to do something, right? Particularly in, roman in a romantic context, let's just say a man doesn't want to get married after a few years of being with a woman, or he doesn't want to take her seriously at all. He doesn't want a relationship. Society treats this as though it's some great transgression, right? That we as men should just have relationships by virtue of the fact that we are men, or we should just get married by virtue of the fact that we are men, right? Simply, and again, this is something that oftentimes there's a lot of risk associated with these things if you're a dude, particularly if all of your assets can be taken away from you, your children can be taken away from you, or maybe you just understand that a lot of these women can't be loyal to save their own life, and yet we're expected to jump into relationships, otherwise it's not fair to them. Oh, hell no, bro, hell no. He basically tells me that I can do whatever I want with anybody I want, but then he tells me, like, I can't do it with too many people, but then he also, like, gets irritated when I do do stuff with guys and I'm like like and there it is right so you do do stuff with dudes <laughs> you see how you see how amazing this is okay it's like she says that she's loyal but then she does stuff with dudes right and I don't believe let's just say let's just give her the benefit of the doubt and says that she has lots of dude friends Again, huge red flag. The guy is, in all likelihood, very justified in not wanting to have a relationship with you by virtue of this fact alone. But apparently you're loyal, right? Why do you need these? And I'm being very generous here when I say this. Why do you need these guy friends? And assuming they are guy friends. Let's run that back so you guys can take a listen to that in case you missed it. Whatever I want with anybody I want. But then he tells me, like, I can't do it with too many people. But then he also, like, gets irritated when I do do stuff with guys. And I'm like... Like, I, I don't know. But right, so you're very loyal, but quote-unquote, you do do stuff with guys. Very interesting. Very, very interesting how the, the loyalty is just a very, you know, a very fickle thing, isn't it? Right? Ironically, like, it's a bit of an oxymoron, right? You're loyal, but sometimes, you, you know, you hang out with dudes. You're with some dudes doing... Whatever. We don't really get the information from. But in any case, it's unlikely to be, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Conducive to a relationship. I'm staying, like, so loyal to him. And, like, if he doesn't want anything, it's like, what's the f***ing point? I'm wasting my f***ing time. Like, if he tells me in the future that, yeah, we're going to be together, then, yeah, I'll stay f***ing loyal. But it's the thing that he's, like, he basically wants something to do with me. He just won't tell me straight up. Because I have, like, so many outside sources that are telling me, like, what's actually up. And I'm, like... Yeah, I should probably listen to them and, and things, but... So basically, I just texted him tonight and was like, hey, like, I think we should, like, talk. Like, I just don't think we should keep doing this because it's not fair and I just don't want to get hurt and all this is junk. And he's just like... This man... It, I'm going to guess, okay? I don't, I don't know what he said here. Probably not. But if a girl comes to you and she says all, all of this crap, I, I, like, I'm done with you. I don't want anything more to do with you. I'm going to dump you. Or even if you guys don't have a relationship, whatever. And she, she comes with all of this crap. The answer that you give, or that I would recommend that you as a man give, is okay. That, that, that's it. Like, I'm, I, I've seen, like, lots of, like, uh, you know, like, YouTube shorts or, like, r Instagram reels or whatever. Where, like, we as dudes, we're supposed to, like, try and get the girl to stay or do, do all this stupid crap. Hey, this is a free country, quote-unquote. You know, a free world, quote-unquote, right? If the girl wants to leave, bye. That's it. No discussion. Okay, cool. See you later. We'll see what the guy says. I haven't watched this, so I don't really know. Uh, but let's take a listen. Yeah, I get that completely. Like, I care about you, but I don't want a relationship. Like, whatever. I told you, you can do stuff with whoever you want. Like, just saying shit like that. And I'm like... And I'm like yeah, so he essentially said, okay. He said, bye. There's the door. Let's run it back. Then I was like, okay, like, I think we should, like, talk. Like, I just don't think we should keep doing this because it's not fair. And I just don't want to get hurt. And all this is junk. And he's just like... Yeah, I get that completely. Like, I care about you, but I don't want a relationship. Like, whatever. I told you, you can do stuff with whoever you want. Like, just saying shit like that. And I'm like, and I'm like, all I want is you. Like, I literally just want you. Like, all I care about is you. Like, even if I we were to end things, I think I'd still stay loyal. Or like, we're not stay loyal, but just like, I still want to with other guys just because I'm not ready because I've only been like focused on him for the past twelve months. Right. So you're loyal, but you still want to see other dudes. 
And again, and again, here's the thing. She she doesn't. You don't owe this dude loyalty. You're not in a relationship or anything like that. But don't say that you're loyal and that you're being a loyal person, and then in the same breath say that you want to go out and see a whole bunch of other dudes. This is exactly why, or one of probably one of the very big reasons why the dude doesn't want to take you seriously. You, you can't. This woman says, guys, get this, okay? This woman says that she's loyal, but at the same time is going to go out or has gone out with a whole bunch of random dudes at the same time, right? Again, you don't owe this dude loyalty, but don't say that you're loyal to him when you're not loyal to him because this dude can see this, you understand? So when you want to, you desperately want a relationship out of this guy, you understand he's going to look at you and be like, oh, hell no, right? She, she, she can't even... You know, she's just a liar. Why would I want to have a relationship with a liar? You know? So it's just like frustrating because I'm stuck in like the spot where like I love, almost said I love him. I like him like so much to the point where I just don't want anybody else. Like I'm just, I don't want to lose him because I know if we end things, I'm going to lose him. And I need to put myself first, but it's just so hard because we're in college, like, I just like going over there at night and spend the night, or just like going over to hang, like, I just... Yeah, she likes to go over there, she likes to have fun. And there's a very key uh, point in there that she just mentioned, right? She says, if if I come, uh, come here and I say to this dude, hey, listen, we're going to call this off, she knows that the dude is going to say, okay, and she'll never hear from him again. And that's part of the reason why she stays, okay? Because this guy, he doesn't do... He doesn't do the uh, platonic friends, right? He doesn't do the shoulder to cry on, right? He's the guy, he understands. He's like, hey, listen, if this ends and we're not having fun anymore, peace. If you want to end it, bye, right? And, and this is something that she can't come to terms with. She doesn't want to drop him because she, she knows if she says to him, hey, listen, no more booty for you, right? Let's just be friends. He's going to say, nah, I'm good. Thanks. See you later. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is absolutely hilarious to me. Very funny stuff. Him. And I need to put myself first, but it's just so hard because we're in college. Like, I just like going over there at night and spend the night or just like going over to hang. Like, I just, I like having that with him, but it's just so frustrating. It's the longest video ever, but I'll probably talk about it more in other videos. But yeah. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I think me and him decided on either taking like a week just to like, like this week to give each other space and like see how we feel at the end of it or we're just gonna talk tomorrow so we'll see i'll keep y'all updated um tell me what i should do in the comment section because i don't know what to do Pathetic. while you're enjoying this video make sure you subscribe to me and our fellow fiend gang members you can find their channels linked in the video description if you like my videos, make sure you go check out Warg the Detective, Hidan the Mummy, and Lock the Bounty Hunter, and subscribe to their channels in the description down below. Now back to the video. Let's talk. So before we jump into the next clip, here's what's going to happen. She's going to continue talking to him. She's going to continue seeing him. And uh, that's the end of that. She might pretend like she has self-respect for the end of the week. I don't think she will. I think she'll continue to talk to the guy probably until she finds like a better option or a guy who's more appealing to her. And then she'll just discard this guy uh, pretty much immediately. That's how that's going to go. Let's jump into the next clip here. Again, I haven't seen this one. <laughs> you already know it's going to be good based off of the caption. Seven ways to deal with being in a situation ship here. I'll, I'll cut this to one. Okay. Here's how you deal with being in a situation. Uh, you deal with being in a situation ship. Step number one. You don't be in a situation ship. There you go, madam. All of your problems are solved. Thank me later. I'm a dating guru. Put, you know, put two grand in my bank account. Uh, buy my course. <laughs> like, there's seven ways to deal with being in a situation ship. My guy, just don't be in one. Holy hell, these people, man. Seven ways to deal with being in a situation ship. Number one, if they are not willing to commit, don't do any sort of girlfriend duties. If you're having sex with them and doing girlfriend duties and not having the title of a girlfriend, that is just not okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> what better way to convince a guy to be with you than to be, you know, not someone who's pleasant to be around or who doesn't do girlfriend duties. This is This is amazing, okay? So, like... You're, you're trying to convince a man to be in a relationship with you, but you don't push, put your best foot forward. 
That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, right? Th what this essentially does is this just puts you more in the uh, the bedroom fun only box. I've described these two boxes a couple of times in recent videos, guys, but in case you guys haven't see it, seen it, okay? A lot of men, what we'll do, right, is men have two boxes as well for women. We have the women who are, you know, for fun only women, and we have the women who are perhaps something a little bit more serious box, right? And this is for those of the dudes who are choosing to date, right? If this obviously doesn't apply, uh, if, uh, it kind of does if dudes are not choosing to date, they'll just put you in the for fun box no matter what. But dudes have two boxes, okay? Box number one, she's for fun only. Box number two, she perhaps is something that's a little bit more serious in terms of quality. Now what happens when you don't put your best foot forward and you're not loyal or you don't want to be a girlfriend simply because you don't want him to have access to that before he commits to you, he's just going to put you in the for fun box. I I'm sorry, but he's just, he's just going to say, yeah, you know, she's a pain in the neck to be around. She's not really pleasant. Uh, she demands a relationship out of me, but she's been chasing me for six months. Uh, I think I'll just keep her in the for fun box and that'll be that. And that's how that works. So, you know, your step number one here is not looking too uh, fantastic if you want a relationship from the guy. But hey, keep being his for fun uh, side lady and uh, we'll see how that goes. This is my go-to foundation combo. It's the Dior Forever Glow in shade 3WO in Charlotte care. Tilbury 4.5. Number all. two, communicate with them about what you expect and request the same in return. I feel like the biggest letdown when it comes to situationships is when the girl expects that the man is going to wife them up and then they just like never do. So that's why it's always important to just communicate what you guys both are looking for. Why would a man wife up a side piece can can somebody please explain this to me why would a man wife up a woman who has no self-respect again these girls don't seem to understand that by virtue of the fact that they are in a situationship they are actually not relationship material at all you, you see how that works if a girl is okay being led on simply to be used for fun by some dude that she's highly attracted to she's not relationship material anyway just stay out there in the streets madam You've already shown that you're for the streets, so just stay there and everybody will be a lot more happy that you remain there, right? You, you might not be happy, but hey, that's the life that you've chosen. Again, something I really don't particularly understand. Going around waiting for him to pop the question. Number three, set a mental timeline. If they're not ready to commit to you by a certain time, you honestly just need to like get the out of there because they're never going to be willing to commit when you start talking to a guy you can mentally know okay i'm comfortable with being in a situation with him for four or five months and then <laughs> holy hell four to five months that is guys the reason why i'm laughing it's a little bit hard to explain why i'm laughing so hard at this this woman thinks that it's that some dude is going to have fun with her for four to five months and then be convinced enough by the time that time period finishes to wife her up or to make her into a girlfriend? No, 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 madam. That's not how that works. <laughs> You've shown that you will chase a guy for four plus months with no commitment at all. Why would the guy commit to you? Number one, you weren't even, you weren't even being a girlfriend in that time. Number two, you were making demands. Number three, you probably weren't even loyal. And then at the end of this, you expect the dude to have a relationship with you. My goodness, that is hilarious. That is, that is something. Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. Holy hell, I'm going to go have a laugh after that. Guys, make sure to leave your thoughts and your comments. Don't forget to take care of yourselves. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.